Hey, who's ready to dig up some mammoth bones? Hey. Lead the way, Lewis. Okay, change of plans. We didn't reserve our place in the Junior Paleontology program early enough, and they were full until one o'clock, so we're gonna go back to Mammoth Dig Site in Hot Springs after this. So we're gonna try a wind cave tour now. A little nervous there we might There might be not get... bats in there. <laughs> a little nervous we might not get in on a tour, but we're gonna give it a try. Yet another change of plans today. <laughs> what a wild wild um, okay, so apparently, the, two, the cave tours at Wind Cave National Park sell out immediately. The ranger we talked to said that there were about 200 people waiting for him when he opened the doors this morning. And so all of the tours for the day sold out. They're first come first serve, so you can't reserve them online. So I think what we're going to do is tomorrow show up, get there really early right at opening and just pray that we get a tour. And if not, I guess, Wind Cave National Park isn't meant to be for us, but we're hoping to get a cave tour. But anyway, we're just gonna explore downtown Hot Springs while we wait for our appointment for the Junior Paleontology Program at the dig site. We're just taking a nice walk and we might see waterfall and go by a buffalo mural. It's Mammoth Dig Site round two. We know we're getting in this time at least. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Teddy's been looking forward to this for forever, right Teddy? <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! Okay. <laughs> oh wait, it's a pepper rock. So this is the Mammoth site in Hot Springs, South Dakota, located in the Black Hills just south of Wind Cave National Park, and it's still an active dig site with the largest concentration of mammoths in the world. As the name of the city suggests, this area has natural hot springs, and the mammoths were drawn to this area, and they would step into the sinkhole not realizing it was a sinkhole because they were drawn to its warm water and the sides were too slippery for the mammoths to climb out. We were all a little sad to learn how the mammoths ended up there, but I will say that it was so fascinating to see the fossils in person and to learn so much about paleontology with the kids. We signed our kids up for the Junior Paleontology Program, which is available in summer for kids ages 4 to 12, and it's just over $11 per child. In this hour-long program, kids learn excavation techniques, and they actually get to get in the dirt and excavate replica mammoth fossils. Make sure your kids wear clothes you don't mind them getting dirty, because they'll be sitting in the dirt and digging. Our kids enjoyed this program so much that they all told me they want to be paleontologists when they grow up and we went straight to the library when we got home and got paleontology and fossil books. I highly recommend adding the Mammoth site to your Black Hills itinerary. Your kids will love it.